Today we have the all new 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQE 500 for Matic SUV. In this video I'll show you guys the exterior features, the interior and go on a test drive. So right now the car is on autonomous driving and uh, I'm not controlling it. And you can see how quick it just flies off the rail first off thank you to mercedes-benz usa for sending me the scarf for this video i've had it for a few days and it's been a blast let's go on a grand tour of this eqe 500 and at the end of the video leave some comments let me know what you think about this new electric suv from mercedes-benz the msrp of this eqe 500 is eighty nine thousand five hundred. as seen here on this video it priced at ninety eight thousand dollars the eqe 500 formatic suv starts at msrp eighty nine thousand dollars now this car has dual motors at the front and the rear output 402 horsepower combined 633 pound feet of torque and it goes from 0 to 60 in 4.6 seconds that's pretty impressive because this car is about 5,500 pounds heavy and the battery capacity is 90.6 kilowatt hour the electric range on this eq500 is 269 miles and the drivetrain has a single speed and a fully variable formatic all drive system with torque shift the exterior color of this eq500 is a twilight blue metallic you can also go other colors such as cirrus silver metallic emerald green green, selenite grey metallic and manufacture alpine grey. This EQ500 is the exclusive trim package, starts at $91,600, has popular enhancements which include augmented reality for navigation, active ambient lights and a suite of advanced driver assist features and also the AMG line exterior. Alright, let's begin with the front fascia look. It has AMG line exterior package which means very aggressive air intakes right here. Also the Mercedes star sits at the center with the active distance distronic systems which are driver assistance packages which work with radar technology and you can see because of mg line exterior package you have the mercedes star pattern at the front very aggressive air intakes with the high gloss black elements on either side you can also see the intercoolers down here as well it looks very exclusive in addition this is known as the one bow design by mercedes-benz you have a giant led bar right across the car looks very impressive at night and here are the digital lights these are upgraded lights they do have the digital light insignia right here single eyebrow these lights by the way project on the road and they also write mercedes eq when you start the car and they project the mercedes logo as well now let's step up to the side here exterior dimensions overall length 191 inches overall height 66 inches wheelbase 119.3 inches so very large suv and the curb weight is 5,565 pounds. Interior dimensions has tons of legroom and the cargo capacity in the back is between 14 cubic feet and 55 cubic feet. The tires at the front, it has 20 inch AMG 5 spoke with mate gray aero elements. And these are very aerodynamics as well. You can barely see the brakes, but there are perforations on the aero elements. 255 45 r20 these are 20 inch rims and i love the wall fenders in plastic gives it a very off-road look on the side here chrome element right across as well and uh, the door handles typically pop out once you approach the car they also have ambient lights as well and mercedes-benz insignia right here the side mirror housings have a camera system and they also project the mercedes star on the ground so very nice feature to have and on the side here eqe badging and how elegant is this chrome elements all around this car the rear windows have privacy glass to keep the car very cool let's take a look at the rear design here there's a very large led right across and it has a spiral design formatic on the right hand side and uh, eqe 500 on the left hand side very simple red diffuser there are no exhaust tailpipes because it's an electric car but i love the finish here they have these chrome elements which mimic exhaust tailpipes but uh it looks good a number of sensors back here because of the parking systems in the car mercedes star at the center privacy glass and there is also a very gentle spoiler right here finish in uh, black accents and a brake light right here led once you start to reverse now to open up the trunk you just swipe your leg right here and it opens up just like that storage in this car 14 cubic feet you can get up to 55 once you lower the second row seats there is a cargo cover right here to protect your luggage and in this case my camera gear from the hot sun and this is a view from the back how elegant is this and uh, i love this floor mat very soft and 
this car also comes with this Mercedes electric cable for charging you can see you connect this to your house and then you plug it in to charge the car now the charging port is back here right here so that's the main uh, AC charging and that's the charging point on your EQE 500 see how elegant these look all around now in terms of charging if you're just doing everyday charging 80% is recommended but if you're gonna go on a trip turn it up to 100 so you have full charge okay so now let's go back out so it's gonna say waiting for EV it says in use so we here. So it's authorizing, waiting, there and it's go. charging. So now you're seeing the flashing lights here. So once it starts to flash, it's... That she says that it's connecting. So now it's, we're charging. So now we're charging, it's blue. blue. Okay. And then over here, it's going to give you 51% battery, 29 minutes remaining. Looks like we are fully charged, 97%. Charging time remaining, 5 minutes. And it shows you the end of charging time, 2.41 p.m. It's at 98%. This gives us about 3.44, 3.45 miles of electric range. I spent $1.58 to charge this car. The electric charge rate is 12 cents per kilowatt hour. You multiply that by the battery capacity in this case it's 90.6 kilowatt hour which means it would cost ten dollars 87 cents to fully charge this car from zero percent to 100 percent from a dc fast charger at mercedes-benz of draper of course this is subsidized cost from charge point make sure you check the cost of your charging location some rates may differ based on your geographic location and other factors price into the uh, charging rate of electric cars of course it's an electric car we have the electronic tailgate right here to close the trunk and what you get in the interior with the back seat is nothing but key wheel actually fully qualified leather interior upholstery very soft as well we have two cup holders here which retracts you have to press twice to open those and we have wide seat belts and the seats are very comfortable more than enough headroom about three inches as you can see enough leg room as well the front there is some storage down here airflow very nice as well and these seats are absolutely comfortable and for the passengers you get Bobistar 3d sound sound system in the back we have good quality speakers and this car has about 16 speakers on over 700 watts of pure output dolby atmos comes standard in the eq500 which means provides three-dimensional sound fields that expands the capabilities and experience of stereo sound in this car courtesy of these speakers right here all around the cabin the front passengers drivers and on the doors and even overhead speakers back here on the c pillars and there is a reading light up here and turn it on and off privacy glass in the back and also love the disguise view right here and then down here there is another compartment which opens and you have two usb-c ports so more than enough connectivity if you want to charge your smartphone and just relax in the back and uh, enjoy the drive and of course there is a giant panorama roof and it's just pure luxury in the back seat of this eq500 attic suv let's jump to the front and take a look at the other features as we begin the drive and uh, once you step inside, there's a very large OLED display right here, which is biased towards the driver. It has a ton of options, fully touch screen that have like charging stations and things like that. And also the 12.3 inch digital is faster for the driver. There is a ton of data out here. And the server is actually very comfortable. I wish this came in black, but I get this is a test call. You can option and figure your EQ500 as you prefer based on your car power shoes. Climate control systems and also this car has an air quality purification system right here. Shows you the energizing air our control plus system. And you can see the HEPA filter filters to find dust and minute particles pollen memo the substances for the coming of outside. So it has a field purification system and the inside here is where it gets nuts. There is more than enough storage. Guess what? I have my coffee right here. And uh, what about it? 
and they can all fit in here and be modern enough. I always set my wallet down here as well. Then when I can put this back, close it, go pipe friends. Here we go, the moment you've been waiting for. Let's go on a drive. Now, because it's a hot day, I'll set the airflow to about a one. And hopefully that's not gonna interfere with the video, but it should be good. The interior of this EQE 500 is the Biscaya Blue up here. So this is known as Biscaya Blue Leather and never gray leather as well, which looks like a, a bit of white, but it's uh, sort of off white, but they just call it never gray, same color on the leather in the steering wheel right here. And uh, so far so good. It feels fantastic for, to be in the driver's perspective, driver's seat. And uh, I'm gonna open the center console right here and pull out my cup it up here in the cup holder and you can see how large the the storage is in this car all right let's talk about what's going on here before we get on the freeway this is a EQE 500 as I mentioned numerous times it has dual motors at the front and the rear axle the total output from those electric motors is 402 horsepower, 633 pound feet of torque. It's a ton of uh, power from this EV, which launches this 5,500 pound SUV from 0 to 60 or from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 4.6 seconds. So it actually just flies off. Uh, it's a fantastic car. So far, the drive experience is very good. One thing I've noticed with this car is uh, once you approach an intersection or um, a traffic stop like this and you press on the brake gently, the brake pedal moves forward and holds the position. It's very unnerving, very uneasy. Um, I'm not used to that where you press on your brake and it sort of moves away from you. So it actually maintains that. Um, I love how it drives the paddles. Um, pedals are you know plastic pedals uh, they're not sport pedals and uh, but the other thing we have paddle shifters back here there's a downshift and an upshift these perform the function of uh, battery power recuperation or returning to the car which means when I start to brake and I press sort of the downshift then the the force or the braking action adds power to the battery and the battery capacity in this car it has a 90.6 kilowatt hour battery which has a 269 mile range now when I got this car it had about 85% of charge I've, I've driven it for like four days and um, we're down to 60 probably driven about a hundred miles oh. You can see how quick it just flies off the rails um, and I didn't have to apply a ton of power in that uh, launch it just uh, sort of takes off on its own um, tons of power from this car it's just a fantastic drive experience and I'm going to engage the EQ menu and we'll see how we do. We have about 60% of charge, uh, 242 miles of range expected to be max. So if we drive in a conservative fashion, 
we'd, we're going to drive about 242 miles. But if we have an, uh, a sporty drive experience, a more aggressive drive, we'll get to about 218 miles. Um, another cool option here is if you go to the range menu, the car actually advises you. The onboard computer system lets you know that you can maximize the range and add 17 more miles by applying these uh, suggestions or recommendations. So you can have uh, climate control restrictions, which will add another seven miles, which means don't blast your AC and things like that. Uh, seat comfort restrictions, which means uh, seat kinetics, which takes out from the power because the car has to adjust to your driving behavior. Um, and then interior restrictions. And then you can activate eco driving functions functions which will add seven miles of range to your drive. Uh, I'm also gonna adjust the side mirrors here simply because I leaned my seat back a little bit. Let's go back to home and uh, I want to show you guys another cool menu here. This is the comfort menu. Now it has a seat menu here with the seat kinetics which means that if I engage that as a driver the seat now starts to adjust based on the road condition so if I'm approaching this gliding slope here the seat sort of adjusts the back of the seat moves forward to give me more visibility so it uh, provides you with additional sporty uh, characteristics or functions to your drive and uh, it's just going to adjust to the road conditions, whether it's, it's around corners, it's going to adjust the side bolsters and uh, so on and so forth. And uh, it's just, what a drive experience in this car. So far so good. So that's a very cool feature in your EQE. And uh, we have ambient lights. Hey Mercedes! Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Set the ambient light to red. Okay, I'm changing the color. So it adjusts the ambient lights to red, which is uh, pretty nice. Awesome. Another very good feature is this off-road menu here. Now I had a GLE 63S last week courtesy of mercedes-benz usa and i was able to take the car to colorado and uh, hike or descend pikes peak mountain in the gle 63s and uh, i use this menu a lot the off-road menu lets you see the altitude the direction of travel uh, the the compass as well we are heading north and in in low speeds you can press this button and it provides what is known as a transparent hood so you can see under the car if you're sort of off-roading so to speak and i can also see the suspension you can actually see these blue icons which go up or down to show you how the suspension is handling so this car has a, an aromatic suspension with active damping so it's it anticipates road conditions and adjust the suspension accordingly so it's a very good menu or characteristic to have in your electric car and then the info menu lets you take a look at the energy flow uh, when you start to you know your driving percentage charge that is left 58 percent and then let's see else do we have so that's the info menu let's look at the vehicle and uh, see how we do here and you can see it's just uh, gliding off and uh, it has a it has a pedestrian experience which 
it, it plays a hum. I don't know if you can you can tell the hum from the from the car once you accelerate. It's like a spaceship. It just starts to hum, and you know that hey, you know, you're driving an electric car, and I just love that humming sound from this car. It also serves a function to be a pedestrian warning system because sometimes people can't tell when you're approaching or when you're driving so you want to have that um, in your EV. Climate control systems, we have uh, all the icons here, it's set to sync and you can direct the airflow where you want it and this car also has an air quality system which means that it's the energizing air control plus which using the HEPA filters built into the car filters out pollen and dust and other particles from the air so inside the car we have very good air quality it's about a one on the exterior it's a two so there's something else to, to notice in your car and uh, it just drives so beautifully and also we have uh, from the driver's perspective we have a 12.3 inch a digital instrument cluster with a ton of data I'm gonna set it to the classic look here and uh, just has different options you can see the speed of travel What you didn't know about the EQE 500 for Matic SUV is that the rear tires have a 10 degree rear axle steering and you can see the action here. As you cut a corner, the rear tires turn by 10 degrees to increase the turning circle on the car. And if I come right here, you can see the perspective completely turned in this angle. How great is that? And then as you turn back, you can see they sort of start to realign right here and they're still turning. See the rear one turns in the opposite direction. That's the rear axle steering on the EQE 500. Autonomous driving, all you need to do is press the on button on the cruise control and then press the set plus. And now the car is uh, driving on its own. And now it's changing lanes on its own. Still keep your hands close to the steering wheel to let you know that you can take control when you need to. Hey Mercedes. How can I help? Find us driving directions to Park City, Utah. Route guidance to Park City, Utah is starting. Thank you. You're welcome. Now the sun visors are rather small, like this one here, the sun is just baking my face and uh, there is nothing I can do, it's just very small. I wish this was actually a much larger sun visor which would cover the entire window, but now I have sort of lean in once in a while because the sun is just baking my face. And that's really the sun visors here. One more thing I notice is uh, there is no handlebar up here for your passenger or the driver, which is just very weird. I don't know. So when you go off-roading, you're just not gonna hold on to anything up here. Augmented reality navigation here in Park City. With a strong recuperation, the car applies extra brakes to charge the car, which means if I release my, my foot on the accelerator, the car just starts to brake on its own. It's kind of an easy feeling when you have the car just start to brake without you applying brakes. And that's really the strong recuperation system here that charges back to the car. I 
as part of the strong recuperation if I take my foot off the gas or the pedal the brake pedal starts to kick in and the car actually brakes on its own as you can see right here I don't know if it's very clear on camera so I'm gonna take off my foot off the gas and it's gonna break on its own and we are back so far this is uh, one of the best EVs you can buy for Mercedes-Benz if the price is too high we there is an EQE 350 this is a 500 and the EQE 350 has about 288 horsepower from the uh, electric motors so you can option to get that as well or get an EQS 450 or an EQS 580 those are higher range high price EVs from Mercedes-Benz and uh, total retail on this one I have today is uh, $98,000 this is a pinnacle trim uh, it doesn't have a head-up display system but it has a Burmester 3D surround sound system and uh, MG line exterior on the outside very aggressive air intakes with black accents gives the car a very sporty appearance from the front and uh, so far so good I love how it drives um, can also engage the autonomous driving courtesy of the cruise control and uh, you can see now the car is actually driving itself so I can get to relax from the freeway let me add some gas but then it gives you a warning I don't know if you saw that to keep my hands on the steering wheel So again, it gives you a warning, hey, keep your hands on the steering wheel. So, so not fully autonomous driving. Uh, so it says suspended. Uh, I'm going to engage it again. So you just have to gently hold the steering wheel and the car will drive itself. And which is why you see the green icon lets you know that autonomous driving has been engaged it's not quite level 3 autonomous driving which is gonna which is gonna drive itself from point A to B completely on its own turning intersections and and, and turning corners so this is just uh, I believe it's a level 2 And also the other options we have we have an EQ menu navigation so because we're running uh, at 53% charge we'll need to look for some charging stations and the car is gonna use the onboard GPS system and the electrify America system to actually find uh, charging stations so I think, uh, looking at the options, and just browse the charging stations. Hey Mercedes. How can I help? Find me directions to Mercedes Benz of Draper. to Mercedes-Benz of Draper, 11,538 Lone Peak Parkway, Draper, Utah is being calculated. And you see right here we have the autonomous driving, rather augmented reality uh, navigation has been activated. The front-facing camera is uh, sending the video feed 
for you to see your your drive and uh, your turn by turn directions and you really can tell it's an it's an augmented reality system because of the blue line to your destination so I'm heading over to the dealership they have uh, charging charging points and that's why I'm gonna charge the car hopefully we'll get to see how that happens so stick around So what happens is once you brake and you've pressed on this downshift or paddle shift, it actually has uh, writing says that there's strong recuperation, which means that the car now, once you take off your foot off the gas, it's gonna brake on its own. Okay. That's the that's the autonomous driving system. So it's uh, so if I take my foot off the gas, the car completely comes to a stop. Almost drives on its own, just like that. So that's the has a strong recuperation, which means now it's it's charging back to the battery in the car. Now, if if you don't like that that experience of the car braking for you you can just press the up shift and it's gonna disengage the system which means now that you have to press on the brake on your own so if you approach an intersection you have to start to brake on your own uh, as opposed to a strong recuperation which means that the car brakes without you pressing on the brake so this is a normal recuperation there is a bit of braking but not so strong compared to the strong recuperation Okay, so if you press uh, no recuperation, now the car completely relies on you to brake. So it's not gonna brake at all, which means now it's not charging back, giving power back to the battery. But I prefer to drive in uh, normal recuperation, which means we are always charging back through the braking action and giving uh, power back to the battery in the car. And uh, that's that's really much it. That's a look at the 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQE 500 Formatic SUV. It's such a mouthful. Mercedes Mercedes-Benz EQE 500 Formatic SUV. It's all-wheel drive, so that's why you say Formatic. It's an SUV sport utility vehicle, and uh, it's an EQE 500. So Mercedes has a ton of these EQs um, released. So there is an EQS, uh, EQS 450, there is an EQS 580 SUV, by the way. There is also an EQS 450 sedan and an EQS 580 sedan. There is now also an EQE 350 and an EQE 500 SUV as well as sedan. Um, so a lot of uh, EQ options or vehicle options you can buy from Mercedes-Benz which means that they have a wide range of cars for every price point basically and I'll leave a link to all the details on this car and I'll also leave links to other electric cars I have reviewed from Mercedes-Benz and um, I hope you did enjoy this review and enjoy the sights. I'm actually up in the mountains and uh, I can tell you right now the altitude we are about 5,000 5,180 feet above sea level. You can see we have very exclusive scenic views up here in Utah. And that's a garage, that's not a house. 
the actual house is all the way back there um, so there are very beautiful homes up here I'm gonna show you the houses so I'm not wearing my GoPro just in case you're wondering I'm not paying attention but um, these are the sites and um, you can see the digital instrument cluster right here has a ton of information you have an understated theme this is a sport theme classic theme and uh, there is also navigation and you can see we are heading over to a destination in uh, Draper so that also shows up here for the driver you can see the time of arrival on the left hand side and uh, the distance to the destination and the amount of charge left in the car 51% and also the speed up here a ton of icons and uh, speed limit assist 35 miles an hour and if I set the cruise control options it turns to green and you can see that so right now the car is on autonomous driving and uh, I'm not controlling it so it's actually driving itself so fully autonomous driving system in the EQ but once you start to come downhill it says hey uh, you need to put your hands back on the car uh, I'm not gonna drive this for you so I it also tries to engage the autonomous driving system again and you can see here it sort of is driving on its own um, this is a 12.8 inch OLED touchscreen display or browse the MBUX infotainment the Mercedes-Benz user experience system and it has a number of options starting with the EQ menu right here shows you the charging range and consumption now on the range it shows you how you can maximize the range on your EV using climate control restrictions seat comfort function restrictions as well as interior restrict functions so basically it's gonna minimize climate control and seat comfort seat, things like seat kinetics and so on and so forth now we are charging at a DC fast charger we are at 58 percent that means 194 miles of range and there is a setting here which you can increase or decrease to to show where you want to charge your car to right so if I charge it to max 100% it's gonna take me 45 minutes but for today I just want to make sure that I charge up to 80% so this is a limit on how much you can charge your EV and um, there's a button here charging process cancel to stop it because if you don't press this button the cable is not gonna disconnect so it's gonna get stuck so you have to press that to disconnect and that's really the EQ menu there is navigation right here shows you the map and if you press and hold the home button you can switch the home screen from a classic look to a zero layer look which means that the entire map is overlaid on the screen and at the same time shows you your charging time 18 minutes to 80 percent now let's go back and uh, it's changed the menu orientation but I do prefer the other menu so I'm gonna press and hold switch to the classic menu and the phone shows you the co devices connected I have two phones connected to this car and uh, it's gonna bring up the device here let's go back swiping to the right we have a radio right here just shows you the different Sirius XM radio stations you can browse by swiping left or right uh, less and also there is press on the gear icon load up the Burmester menu now this car has 710 watts total output from the amplifier and a total of 15 speakers which means that the music here is excellent there is an equalizer you can adjust your bass your mids your trebles balance fader which means the sound focus so to speak there is also a more targeted sound focus optimizer 
that you can press the front seat, meaning that the most sound comes from the front or the rear seat. So if you want to have more bass, uh, usually you can set it to the rear sound optimize, which means that the amplifier, the, the subwoofers in the back play more of your music. You can normalize your sound, so adjust the perceived volume of the sound. I've set it to medium or high. Now that's really the Burmester menu. Let's go back. Media options lets you connect uh, Apple CarPlay on your on your car, right? Or Android Auto. So in this case, I have my device connected to Apple CarPlay, and um, I had disabled it because I was on the phone. I'm going to enable my Bluetooth connection, and uh, hopefully Apple CarPlay shows up here. Let's see. Now, the other menu is uh, there is online music right here. So you must be logged in with a specific user account to play your online music. Uh, let's go back. We have Bluetooth connectivity again. Let's go back. Now, apps. We have a ton of apps in this car. And, uh, okay, media. Once Apple CarPlay is connected, there is an icon up here on the top left corner, says Apple CarPlay. Press on that. We have Spotify, and all these are my apps from my phone. I have an iPhone, and uh, so when I want to listen to music, I go to Spotify. I can have meetings in the car if I want to, and Google Maps. You can just enable that as well. It's very intuitive, very fast as well. You can recenter, do recent searches, and so on and so forth. Back to the home menu. There are other apps here. The weather app is actually one of my favorite apps you can have in the car. <clears throat> you can see the current uh, weather in Draper, Utah is 90 degrees, which is about 34 degrees or about 32. 48 hour weather forecast. You can search for locations and uh, you can see sunrise, sunset, wind direction and so on and so forth and all the other options. You can set the 48 hour weather forecast or 10 day looking far much ahead into the future. Now there is also a browser here. If I have internet connection I can enable um, browsing and through this car because it's a press car through Mercedes-Benz USA we have internet connection which means I can just browse directly on my phone. Rather I can browse directly from this menu here. And uh, let's see if we can go to a specific site. We'll go to CNN.com. Just to show you that we have a live internet connection. And there we have it. We have internet connectivity from your Mercedes-Benz. Uh, Supreme Court faces outright defiance from Alabama. So you can browse the net and um, while we're here, make sure you subscribe to Mercedes Lounge for weekly Mercedes and Mercedes AMG videos. So that's the browser. Let's go home, go back to apps. We have other games here. I did play the March 3 here. It's kind of like, um, what was that game? I don't remember the name of the game, but I don't play it. But there is another game here that you can play. Candy Crush, right. That's the name I was looking for. It looks like Candy Crush. You can select the level. And then once it loads up, as I wait for my car to charge, I was actually on, on this level two. We can now play a video game, which looks like Candy Crush. So let's play the game. There we have it. Let me just zoom in. And uh, just play a regular video game. Let's go back. Now, in addition, we have a store. You can shop for Mercedes merch. Comfort menu. We have seat kinetics, which means I receive support from the side bolsters of the car and of the seats, which is very useful for long trips. Ambient lights. We have uh, 64 colors ambient lights in this car. And by the way, there is uh, the same ambient light flows on the seats as well. So the seat has a 
64 color ambient light illumination on the side and I'll show you guys that in a moment and then the off-road menu lets you see the different drive and suspension the altitude the compass and the direction of travel and it's a very nice menu to have there is a camera system here as well for the off-road menu let's go back there is an info menu shows you energy flow which means accelerator or braking so it shows you your driving behavior in your Mercedes EQ energy flow once you start to use regenerative braking as you brake the brake uh, the kinetic energy is transferred from the brakes to the battery itself so the car can actually sort of charge as you drive it's known as recuperation let's go back and then uh, settings menu has vehicle assistance menu uh, suggestions displays vehicle menu shows you the different uh, comforts roof roller sun blind dynamic select options in this car let's go through those individual mode sport comfort eco and off-road I like to leave it on sport mode let's go back to settings and then the system shows you the voice assistant light as well interior exterior lighting delay ambient light as well the digital light this car can have a welcome or a farewell projection in this case in this case you can have a particle flow or digital rain so this is very excellent at night so I want to leave it at um, particle flow Alright, that's it. That's a look at the 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQE 500 for Matic SV. We've had a blast and if you like the video, please consider subscribing and help the YouTube algorithm. Give the video a big thumbs up and stay tuned for more videos. I create weekly videos on Mercedes-Benz and Mercedes-AMGs and also EQs as we have it here. Until next time, stay positive guys. Peace.